Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Castle Farms Homestead. This is another exciting day. It kind of, uh, where we didn't anticipate it, we found about, out about this just Hello, and welcome to Castle Farms Homestead. Now, supposedly, Clint already recorded an intro, but we don't have our mics with us today, and we know how bad his audio is, even when we do have the mics. So I thought I'd shoot this one just in case. Now, if you've been with us from the beginning, you might be looking at this behind me and going, Brady, why are you up on the, the roof of a barn? Didn't you guys already tear down a barn? Yes, we did. But we're taking down another. We were out at the homestead getting stuff done out there when Clint was contacted by someone who uh, we had previously salvaged some material from. And uh, she let us know that there was a barn available for us if we wanted to come and take it. So we dropped everything, hopped in the truck, grabbed the trailer, and we're back up tearing down another barn. So apparently this was a barn built in 1985 and it's you know it's had its wear now and uh, the owners of this property are uh, want to put something that's a little safer for all their kids and all back down in an open area down there and so this was just going to be torn down so we're very fortunate to be able to have this opportunity to reclaim this so it's got it's pretty awesome it's got board and batten siding on it it's got metal roofing on it there's some um, stall doors on this side and the other side um, some of those are in better shape than than others we go down here and you can see there's big sliding doors on both this end and the other end which is exciting so we'll try to take advantage and get those I, I really hope to be able to use those again I'm hoping that all this board and batten will come off nicely and we can reuse that maybe for our barn that's not what i was planning on doing before but now that we're going to get this that would be really cool inside the barn we've got stalls looks like there's four stalls here with stall doors and everything and check out the wood you can tell it's been here a little while horses or whatever probably horse worn that down a bit but look at the thickness of that that is a full inch maybe an inch and a quarter thick that is some awesome lumber right there i am so excited and it is all over the place inside all of this here each one of those stalls this stuff that's that's even thicker I think. I don't know. Maybe it's the same. Dang. There's also an upstairs. We've got all these joists here as well. And there's stairs over here then. Try not to whack my head because it's a little low here as I'm going up. Right there. But, oh, there we go. Almost. Oh, well, there we go. I'm so agile. It's amazing. Well, here's the upstairs. So we've got these pressure treated timbers. We've got all these big old joists there, or rafters there, I mean. comes up here so yeah this is pretty awesome this is the back side of that board and batten so I think we're gonna be able to get that as long as it doesn't tear up when we're trying to pull it off because although it looks beat on the outside and those are thick as well so that's exciting well we're gonna get busy start taking it down
So I've been going around and removing all the, there's a whole bunch of nails. There's a bazillion nails sticking out all over the place. Like that in every stall, everywhere. So I've been going around removing those because I don't want to take one in the face or rip my shirts or whatever. Even though we'll be having nails stick out later, but I want to get this stuff out. Also, there's a lot of hardware and stuff that uh, um, been taking off besides the screws. There's other hardware on there and hooks and stuff. I'm going to check out this thermometer. I'm going to keep that thing. It's an old metal thermometer. I'll put that in, in the building when we rebuild it. So, so I've been doing that. I just got a little bit left to finish that. And then check these stall doors out. I think that's the next thing I'm going to do is just, I just got to take the hinges off those and then uh, remove those and get them out of the way. Those will be nice to have. was up here getting work done. Clint was messing around. Want to show us what you did to that drone there? No, I don't want to show you. <laughs> show us anyway. <laughs> busted the battery part. The gimbal's busted off. Are all the of wings? all the propellers were busted. What did you crash it into? That tree over there. No, oh, that tree right there? <laughs> I thought I was fine. I brought myself out here and then I was going to do a little circle around. I'm trying to watch the watch the barn to make sure it's in frame. And I thought I was coming front of the tree. And next thing I know, boom. This goes, I was going to have a bomb on the ground. Glad it wasn't me that broke it. Got all the roofing off this side. Now it's time to head over to the other side. Well, we've got the roof off all over. And we're working on getting the insulation off so we can expose these purlins and all. And so that's what we're gonna do now is start pulling these purlins off. But uh yeah, get a real good feel for how this thing's constructed here. Thank Brady for for getting up on the roof and getting those all disconnected and all. You know, he had the easy job. I had to actually grab them as they came off the roof and and lay them down. I mean, that was killer. Yeah, that's okay. Sometimes Brady works hard too. Let's go home. <laughs> if not, 
I'll do this to you. <laughs> uh, not the strongest handle in the world, damn. All right, it is day two of working on the barn. You turns out uh, I was wrong, and we did have the mics in the truck. <laughs> we discovered we never took them out of the truck when we got to the ranch this last time. We started doing other stuff and didn't start filming before we got the notification about this, and we just ran out. And then we thought, oh no, we didn't bring the bag, but we did. <laughs> so. You'll get more footage of today and better audio. Good thing we're getting good at doing voiceovers. But I'm just looking at myself in that, and that light up makes me look really gray. It's not the light. Yeah, it's a light because I'm I'm young, and <laughs> and vibrant, and don't have gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so today it's back up top first, finished taking the purlins off, uh, also out here purlins and short purlins on the end, and we didn't know for sure what the electrical situation was here. The owner had told us the electrical might be on. We didn't have anything to test it, so uh, I brought the tester today. I checked it. Looks like we're good, so I'm going to start cutting out the electrical while uh, Brady's taking out some of those purlins. Wanted to get these ones, wanted to get these ones out of the way as quickly as possible because <laughs> they're an absolute pain Take coming up and down these stairs. You see Clint standing those steps right there. Up here we're like this. <laughs> you gotta bend over literally double to fit under those. Brady reminded me that as I as I age, it might not be such a problem as I get all hunched over. And... one of those big boards down over the side that flipped up and the back end with all the nails came up. <laughs> Got added ventilation now. So we just got back from lunch and we got most of the top part done. Just have a little bit on the end there that we got to use a ladder to get to. 
So we're holding off for that for right now, but we're gonna take these doors off, the stalls, window out, and then we're gonna take all the siding off here and uh, open that baby up. So we've just taken off all this siding on, and so far it looks like every majority of everything we're doing, it's breaking. Um, some of it's intact, but most of it's breaking. I'm gonna take a look around the, the rest of the exterior and see if it's something we want to try to still save. Otherwise, we're just gonna bash it and take it off because it takes a little while to kind of work it off and try not to try not to have it split. Nope. <laughs> Not doing that. <laughs> well, folks, that's it for this section. Yeah, got it quite a bit done. Um, it's definitely taking longer than I anticipated, which always does. Always does. <laughs> got great ideas that things will go fast. But, but the find is great. We're really excited about the barn for sure. And... Have definitely, I think, definitely, I think. Definitely, maybe. I've definitely probably. maybe thought, maybe, perhaps, definitely, though, that <laughs> we're going to rebuild this as a barn. And uh, my other idea of using those huge pallets we have, we're going to have to use those pallets somewhere else because uh, this is going to be an awesome barn. So, but, but we've been getting ourselves one step closer to having a new barn. Yes. That's all I got. <laughs> I thought I had somewhere I was going with that. Beyond We're a little tired. I'm beat, yeah. to be honest with you. I, uh, it's Saturday. We did a half a day today. And I think my body's looking forward to having a day of rest. So <laughs> we'll be back on it Monday and yeah we're not finished at monday my goal is tuesday now <laughs> so it'll be a full week on this because we started on wednesday did we yeah oh wow yeah full week on this but it's all right it's cost me that much money for the barn it cost me and what gas time. and time and all that refreshing but. drinks refreshing drinks but anyway Appreciate you guys watching, and hopefully you're having a good time watching, seeing what screw-ups we're doing, but what good stuff we're doing too, which we are. We're doing some good stuff. Mostly good stuff, I think. Yeah, I think so too. So don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that good YouTube stuff. And if you really want to help us, share the video with your friends, neighbors, family. That would be awesome. We appreciate it. So we'll see you next time. On, on Castle, Castle Farms, Farms Homestead. Homestead.